So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair. Take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. I am 
sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. Death is never easy to accept, especially honor your comrades if you wish, but know that we must press forward. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? 
Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Magi... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Turn Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Of course, even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of them. There will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be pit, then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the make. May he watch over. it will. The blight ends here.
Let's cross the bridge and get to the tower of his shop. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves.
As you say. Of course. What do we do now? What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. <laughs> hey, you're right. 
I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. be done. Very well.
Yes. Gate better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. be done.
surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. Of course.
Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. You were injured, and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious, dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. I do not mind. Take your time. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. I wonder at that myself, but she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones... I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. What a sensible attitude. Mother is seldom sensible, however. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each... If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Are you sure you want me to describe it? I had a good view of the battlefield. It is a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. If you are willing to run into the midst of the Horde, perhaps. I do not know who this Loghain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. I agree. Tis time you... See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. 
The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is... He was... our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later. In the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? If you think small numbers make you helpless, you are already defeated. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of... Then we have to do something. I won't let their deaths be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like... So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. No, no, thank you. Now, before you go, there- The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed a... Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but... Won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. 
You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wild, or if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast... Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the Blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I suppose he did. 
It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him. In the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Of course, I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? I think he came from High Ever. Or so he said. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Yes, I... Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. I'd like that. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Fleming. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to what When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most... Uh, changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children? I cannot say. She has not done... Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature. In time, this allows one. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human f Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and if you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. There were nights when the wild... You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions... Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Not all apostates use the forbidden blood arts. Maleficarum do, but to condemn all who do not fall under the circle's thrall for the sake of... There are those who look on the word apostate as meaning freedom. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? A most practical opinion. Fu but enough of such talk.
and I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? I think he was out there looking for you. He's... chosen you. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? He's not mangy. What do you need? Very well. Of course.
Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Not much gets past you. It's not really... Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Darkspawn get us all. Yes, I am a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. There aren't any. Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me. You're joking, right? I could never be a soldier. I'm not going down without a fight. Oh, this should be As you say, very well. It will be done. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So, you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Yes, I know. I was just... thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. 
This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? The treaties, the ones we got from Flemeth. With these, we will be able to ask for assistance. Maybe even raise. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties... Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll... Now that is uns... Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at the castle Redcliffe in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be... We can go to Danarum, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're... Thank you.